really hot. We just got done riding and rinsing, so we aren't very dressed up. But I told Emily, hey, I need a new fly sheet. She'll just go to Paul Taylor's. And I'm like, Paul who? So she's like, you gotta see Paul Taylor's. So we're here at Paul Taylor's and she's gonna show me around a little bit and we're gonna find a fly sheet for my horse. So let's, let's start looking. Texas. I'm here at Williams Ranch. I just got off of one of my two-year-olds named Sangria. Um, I think uh, you guys are gonna meet a couple of my customers and their horses pretty soon. So what's the most challenging thing working with non-professionals? Uh, I'd say finding a, a good way to figure out what works for each individual rider and their horse is probably the most challenging thing. Um, you know, every horse is different, every person is different, and getting the two of them to come together and meet in the middle is, it's always really rewarding when it works, and it can be very challenging <laughs> at the same time. So do you sometimes feel like non-pros get pretty emotional showing? Oh, I think we all do. I mean, trainers, uh, non-pros, if, if you weren't getting excited and getting emotional about it, then I don't know why you're doing it. Because it's, you know, that's really what it's all about is the thrill. So tell me, as trainers, what level do you show in? Would you say the more beginner levels or the more advanced? I'm still in the beginner levels right now because we still mm -hmm. qualify. Both Kayla and I still qualify even though we've been yeah. riding our whole lives we still qualify for the lower levels in mm -hmm. NRHA so we are able to compete in those and mm -hmm. it's been a nice confidence booster yes. for both of us to be able to have the horses that we do and compete yep. in those levels mm -hmm. so let's talk about <clears throat> what's your most challenging moment in the show Penn we uh, all have one or ten Ten. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I think con controlling nerves has always been a challenge for me. You know, we do this because it's fun, and I have to remind myself of that a lot whenever it comes time to compete, that it's supposed to be fun, but it's also, I mean, it can be nerve-wracking going in there, and you're really kind of burying yourself for those judges and being really vulnerable. And I competed on equestrian teams in college at West Texas A&M, so I was able to maybe help conquer a little bit of that through that format, which was great. But it's definitely a different ball game when it's your horse that you're competing on and you know what that horse is capable of and that for me can be nerve-wracking just trying to trust her to go in there and do her job um, and trust myself to not make the wrong decision at any point which i make those a lot so it's certainly a lot of definitely a learning experience every time but nerves would be my biggest thing I'll, yeah, i go off on that too like nerves is a lot of it and also not trying i think to feed off of that a little bit yes. more is not to get too quick in the yes. show pin. Yes. We try to, you know, going through the maneuvers, not to get too quick with everything. Mm -hmm. And if something does go wrong, not to freak out about it. <laughs> not insane. Right. I have to remind myself 
to go in and take a deep breath. And I think Kayla and I tell each other that yeah. all the time. Yes. Like, go in and take a deep breath. Yep. And breathe. And I always, we tell each other before we go in the pen to have fun. Yep. Like, that's that's literally what we tell each yep. other, you know, have fun. Yep. So that's kind of some of the challenges there. And we're still working through mm -hmm. a lot of that, yep. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. So that was I asked that question earlier yeah. this week. I think there's times you question that, but it really, for me, it's always been a God-given passion. I mean, I've been obsessed with it since as long as I can remember. And I think, and I say this a lot, there is something when it get, when you get it right and you feel that connection with that horse and everything comes together and it clicks. For me, there is nothing that's more of an adrenaline rush than that. And it's something that I can constantly work on me and when you finally when it when it finally comes together I just to me it's like it, I, I just I, it's a high and I can't get enough of that and it makes me a better person and I think it makes me constantly want to strive for more both in the show pen and outside of it being in their presence and you know like there's a bond between a girl and her horse mm -hmm. and people that don't have them don't understand that they won't ever understand no, that they won't so that's it, they won't ever go away, unfortunately. I just keep collecting them. Yes. There you go. Now you're going to lope off. Good. Do you want me to go fast or what do you want yep, to do? Yep, go ahead. Do two large fast. Go ahead and challenge her a little more. Looking good. Do another small slow. So what's the point of fencing, Josh? Why do you have why do you have so, fence? So the reason that we fence is because just maybe explain fencing first. Yeah. yeah. So fencing first off is taking the horse from the very end of the arena to the very other end of the arena. And what we're trying to accomplish when we do that is to get the horse to not anticipate the stop. So for a horse to do a good sliding stop, they have to have forward motion. They need to be extending their stride. They need to be really running and reaching in order to stay off of their front end and really bring their hind end under them and work those front legs. So when we stop a lot, they anticipate and they shorten their stride. So when they start to do that, then we have to fence to kind of counteract that. Much better. You're gonna ask him to start. So 
you're going to ask and you can count to two. One, two, and if he doesn't go, then you're going to use your leg, the outside leg, to put some pressure on him and get him going. Squeeze your leg, get him, get him tension. Go. Good. There we go, that's good. That's much better. focus on you and give them every the best chance when you do give that to you. So the most important thing for me about the turnaround is that the horse needs to be doing it by themselves. They need to be just carrying me through it. If if I'm having to make the horse take every step, then I'm not gonna have a good turner. You know it's a common misconception that you know, the horses are being forced to do everything and that we're, you know, we're making them do everything with a lot of, you know, pressure and everything. But really what, what gets a horse to do its job well is when they're actually finding a release of pressure. And so, you know, for example, when I want this horse to spin, I'm going to ask, which is putting pressure, and then when the he goes, I take that away. So I'm going to sit here and just let her spin and carry me around. And I only put pressure on if she stops or does something different. And she's rewarded by being left completely alone. Okay friends, how did it go? I think well. I was really pleased overall. A um, couple things that I need to fix. and few things, just little things that are kind of her quirks that I needed to work through as Jazz and her up a little bit, but she, we did, I was happy with it. Scott stopped and got all the maneuvers, honestly pretty solid to where I feel like I can go show him. But I definitely want to make sure that I do my best and that I can get my horse shown to the best of both of our abilities. And so I think that's where my nerves come from is, is making sure that happens. I tend to get a little bit of anxious in the lead up like the lead yeah. up to going into the arena so my warm-up and everything else I get anxious before I step into the pin and then I think once I step into the pin I'm kind of focused and I you know I have the, the pattern visualized and I go in and once I step in I'm kind of it's kind of game on from there so I think it's it's the lead up is what gets me pretty anxious you know like the count to, oh there's three more horses until me and then there's two more horses and I'm on deck you know that type of thing and so but once I actually step in, it's I'm ready to go.